Hey guys, um, sorry I didn't stream yesterday. Um, I honestly don't think there's going to be a stream today either. Um, reason being is uh, that's the reason. My computer, come on, focus, you piece of shit. My computer is sitting idle, doing nothing. This is the encoding PC, and it's in the 70s, guys. And it's just sitting there doing nothing. Now, watch as I click on XSplit or OBS. Now, watch those temps climb. And this is just the program, okay? Loading. Boom, 90s. See? I'm literally at thermal max. And all I've done is just activate the program. I haven't even recorded, see? And then my driver's just crashed, literally. Drivers have failed to respond. It's a heating issue. I know it's a heat issue. Um, the old radiator that was in that build is right here. Um, I don't know what's wrong with this radiator. I think there's a leak in it somewhere. So I'm going to find out where somewhat today, fingers crossed. And... Uh, if I can find the leak and plug the leak, I will find and plug the leak. I highly doubt I can, but if I can, I will. Um, right now, I'm using a tiny 120 rad right now. It's just not enough, as you guys can clearly see. Uh, that Yes, that is even a freaking 6-inch case fan blown directly uh, on the motherboard, Northbridge, Southbridge, graphics card, everything else. The heat is just still building up. There is just something drastically fucking wrong there. Um, yet my AMD system is sitting at 36 degrees C. So clearly the water cooling loop on the AMD system is doing just fine. But the water cooling loop on a stock Intel, first gen i7, is struggling. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to shut down both rigs. I'm going to gut both rigs. So that means I'm going to drain both loops. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my AMD stock cooler that you see here uh, put it back on the AMD build for now at least until I can get the money to get another radiator and um, swap the cases basically put the AMD in the uh, encoding rigs case and take everything from the encoding rig and put it in the gaming rigs case uh, that way the gaming rig can actually go up and out the way and actually probably put it up on the desk here um, and uh, move the encoding rig uh, up and over the this, this mess pile over here and um, move this table over there you know clear off this little table end table section here and um, yeah, clear that little end table section off, take this table, put it over there, put the TV and my game consoles on top of that table uh, because this table will have nothing on it. Anyway, this table will have nothing on it. That table will be in this corner. This table will be over there. Uh, it gives me a lot more floor space, a lot more everything else. So yeah, I'll be cleaning out my office today, guys. Um, I'm not even going to put an intro or edit this as it is. So, uh, and again, I can't make the video too long because of what um, the strike on my channel from Gaijin. Anyway, guys, until then, guys, I will. If I do get to stream today, uh, you'll get to know because I'll, I'll put a tweet out on Twitter, Twitter.com/slash Deceptive Covers, and uh, so you'll know when I go before I go live. All right, guys. So until then, take care. And uh, I'll probably, fingers crossed, see you uh, late today. Bye. Okay, guys. There seems to be some confusion about the size of Big D, the project case. That is Big D. 
Okay. And there's a power supply. That is a 360 double base 60 mil radiator. I'll keep zooming out. Does this give you a hint at the size of the computer case now? Those are 1080 monitors behind you, behind it. Yes, the case is that big. Why? Why not? Anyway, I just tried to be all uber and professional, as you can see, covering the hard drives and everything else. And lo and stupidly behold, I even have a little jug. That's how much fluid was in the radiator. Yeah, try to be all professional up in here. Okay, and look, the isopropyl rubbing alcohol to get rid of the cooling compounds and everything else. And I stupidly forget that I've taken the top pressure valve off the top. So the moment I go to the bleed valve on the radiator, guess what happened to all the fluid? That's right, the majority of it went on the floor. Yeah. And I caught what I could inside that. So. The next time someone gives someone like uh, Paul's Hardware, Jay's Two Cents, um, Awesome Source Network, Hardware Canucks, or any of those other guys a hard time about you know water cooling loops and all that other stupid shit, myself included, I've done it in the past, and thank you, Jay, for responding to me on Twitter and, and helping me pick the pump and the res and everything else this majority was help from jay with the exception of the tubing the tubing i found at my local hardware store uh, which i'm actually regretting now because i wanted to get some tubing from uh, uh, primo chill but uh, anyway um long story short um guys stop giving them a hard fucking time this is hard work right it's not easy it's hard life's hard so make some pancakes okay later guys